Grim Dawn Community League Season 2 will be live February 20th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time and will end April 17th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. The first couple of minutes of this video are how to sign up for the league and what it is. The tail end of the video will discuss slightly more specific league features and installation info. Timestamps below. What is the Grim Dawn Community League, you may ask? Well, it's a community-driven competitive ladder, similar to ladders in games such as Path of Exile or Diablo. The season itself is actually a custom-made Grim Dawn mod. The main feature of this mod, which makes it competitive, is the token and point system. Bosses and specific in-game feats, which are listed on the League website, more on that later, will award in-game tokens, which can be redeemed on a point redemption character in-game. The person with the most redeemed points by the end of the season wins. And yes, there are small prizes. Small ones. So how do you sign up? One of the best changes in Season 2 is that there is a dedicated website with actual leaderboards and automated sign-up through Discord. So to sign up, go to GrimLeague.com. I will leave a link below. Join my Discord server. This will be the official League Discord this season. After you have joined, under Enter Username on the website, you can type your Discord name as it is displayed in Discord. Your name should autofill, and the Grim League bot will PM you on Discord. Click the bot link, and you're good to go. Once you have opted into a ladder, Discord will automatically assign you a league role for seasonal channel access, and your name will show on the associated leaderboard. There are two ladders in this league, Solo Softcore Trade Ladder and Solo Self-Found Hardcore Ladder, so no trade in that one. Both ladders are solo only. There is no multiplayer allowed this season outside of Softcore Trading. We did keep an eye out on this last season and had to disqualify some people, so please don't do it. Feel free to play both ladders. You can opt in to both under the same name. That is totally fine. When you are on the website, you can click on your name, and there will be checkboxes to keep track of your seasonal feats manually. This is where you can review all of your seasonal achievements and their requirements. For newer players this season, this is something that is not automated. So your website profile is where you will go to log your progress, upload inventory screenshots of league points and tokens, and post required boss kill videos. Additional optional features are Grim Tool build uploads if you're interested in sharing your secrets, as well as spots for Twitch and YouTube links if you're a streamer or content creator. Everyone can view each other's accounts and creep on their builds. The mod download will be made available at GrimLeague.com, as well as a Discord server at League Start. There'll be two separate mods, one for each ladder. If you're participating in both, make sure to install both. Take a look at the About section at the top of the website for all specific info and some frequently asked questions. And I'm sure there'll be some chonky readme file in the mod itself for good measure. So that's the basics of Season 2 League play. I did want to spend some time talking about the big differences in this season versus last season. The game itself is still mostly vanilla. When you start out in this league, players will begin with a pile of XP tonics, faction mandates, a merit to unlock all waypoints on normal and elite difficulties, and a Shattered Realm level 50 waystone recipe, so players do not need to deal with the early SR grind like they had to deal with last season. The low car leveling set will not be given at the start like it was in last league. Leveling feats have been added to the list of seasonal achievements due to popular demand. Seasonal points will be awarded to players who kill Theoden, the AOM final boss, and Korvac, the Forgotten Gods final boss, before level 85 on Elite Difficulty. There is also a leveling feat to complete Shattered Realm Tier 50 before level 75 on Ultimate before the timer ends. Have fun with that one. As previously stated, the season features two ladders, the Softcore Trade Ladder as well as the Solo Self-Found Hardcore No Life Ladder. Last season, we only had one ladder and utilized a death penalty system with no permanent league deaths. The death penalty system this season no longer exists, so if you die, no sweat. Unless you play hardcore, then you need to restart. Oh, fuck! But it will be of no consequence to your points bottom line. The great equalizer this season is the Shattered Realm Pushing. Bonus points will be awarded to players who push SR tiers past 80 and beat the timer. One point for each level completed. I felt this would be a nice pairing with the recent changes to Shattered Realm this past patch. One of the biggest changes to this season that differs from the vanilla game is the addition of three new, in quotes, super bosses. These are existing bosses that I felt needed a little love, so they had been added to the game as super bosses or enhanced versions of their former self. This area with three portals that has been added to the game will grant you access to these new encounters. This room is actually a separate map that can be accessed on the start screen once the mod is installed, more on that later. So the three new encounters will be done here. They won't be unlocked at the start like they are on my screen. Keys need to be acquired in the main game to open each portal, and that's all I'll say. Now onto some smaller changes. The Dark One set is still in the game, but is no longer target farmable. The plan is to add this to the list of global drops. Players felt this set was a little too strong to be target farmable, especially in an SSF environment. 
Gamblers have had their iron bits cost reduced this season to 10,000 bits per gamble. The idea is to make gambling for items a bit more appealing. However, their rare item cost has gone unchanged. There are some rare items in this league actually worth points, just like in Season 1. They can be redeemed on your redemption character for points. The biggest change this league is that only the Vanquisher set items in the Morganeth ring are worth points. The emphasis this season is a bit more on Shattered Realm and the super bosses. however we don't want to forget about our lonely Skeleton Key dungeons, and that is of course where all these items drop. Regarding Nemesis tokens, last season we made it a little bit of a pain to acquire some League Nemesis tokens due to faction conflicts in-game, forcing players to make multiple characters to get max points. This season, Kaimon's Nemesis and Death's Vigil Nemesis bosses have had their tokens consolidated so you only need to kill one or the other. In Reaper, the Bowerhome Nemesis was removed from the point list entirely, so no need to sweat any faction decisions for points this league. In theory, you could do this entire league with one character. In theory. So how do you actually redeem points in league play? So as stated, some feats in-game will award tokens. This character here has received a Steps of Torment completion token. The token can then be placed into the shared stash. Your Point Redemption alt can now be made by creating a new character named Point Redeemer or something similar, really whatever you want. Upon loading in, you should use your merit that will be in your inventory. Teleport to the Forgotten God starter area, and walk up to the first note just up here and read it. This will automatically get you to level 4. After this, you can remove the token or any tokens you may have from your shared stash that you would like to redeem points for, teleport back to Devil's Crossing, and you will notice your inventory will have redeemed its seasonal points. The idea from here would be to upload a snapshot of this to the seasonal website for point verification. For the Softcore Trading League, we'll release want to sell items and want to buy item channels under the League Play section in Discord. This should be available day one. Regarding Discord in general, this is my streamer Discord as well as my seasonal Discord. If you don't want to hear any spam, just feel free to mute the general section here. I won't have hurt feelings. I'll have hurt feelings. Now onto the mod install. Once the League starts, the mod will be made available for download either on Discord and or the League website, probably both. The download will contain the Season 2 mod folder as well as a bat file. You will want to extract these to the mods folder in your main Grimdon install location. Just right-click on Steam to find it. Not sure if GOG has a similar option, but it's just the main install location for Grimdon. If you do not see a mods folder, you can create one manually. Then run the bat file as administrator and let it do its thing. This bat file is just a workaround to avoid having to put new map assets directly in the League mod folder in an attempt to avoid big file sizes, if people were curious. After that, you should be off to the races. When you boot the game up, you should see the Season 2 world map and the Season 2 boss map for new boss encounters. The world map is where you want to begin, and the boss map is where you will find the three new super boss portals. Important step for people who played Season 1, I wouldn't skip this step. Your Season 1 characters, if left unmoved, will be available for play in Season 2. Do not do this, because it's cheating. And also, Season 1 tokens cannot be recycled, it simply won't work. In addition to this, it could screw with some stuff in the Season 2 mod if you try to play old characters. I would advise going to the Character Mod Save location, located here, I'll show it on screen somewhere, before Season 2 is even installed. And changing the User file, which is where the mod characters are stored, to a different name like Old or Archive. This will force the game to make a new file, and you can start totally fresh with the Season 2 League. If you don't want to do this, just avoid using your old characters, that's all. Regarding cheating, this is something that comes up quite a bit. There are things in place both in the review process and baked into the mod to make it harder to cheat and or help us spot cheaters. In addition to this, be wary that all big ticket encounters require a complete and legible video link posted to your seasonal account for the associated feat to receive credit, just like Season 1. They are listed on the website. Make sure to check out the About section for more info regarding video upload requirements. Myself and everyone involved are well aware that this is a buddy system event. I don't expect more than 100 or so people to participate, so I like to think of this like a big game of golf. We have our rules, we have our scorecard, and our golf course. It's basically up to you to fill in this card, and we'll reconvene at the end to see who comes out on top. That was an interesting analogy. Huge, huge, huge thank you to Ground Zero for making the website, and he's still working on it and developing it, and Sirius Stan for working on the mod. I have done nothing technical, I'm not a programmer, not a coder, nothing like that. Uh, these two individuals did a lot of legwork to get this in a position where it's a little bit more automated and simple than it was for season one. So uh, there are support links on the website uh, at the bottom on the about page, and I'll leave links below to Patreons and PayPals for these individuals. 
anything, five bucks, two bucks, a dollar, doesn't matter. If you want to see a season three and uh, see this go forward, then think about tossing these folks a couple bucks. And that's about it for me. I will see you guys out there. If you have any questions, make sure to hit me up on Discord. I'm unemployed. I'm around to answer questions all the time. If you have questions about the mod, you can hit up Serious Stan. Questions or comments about the website, hit up Ground Zero. And we'll see you out there.